Yo, yo, welcome to my dirty garage and welcome to the land down under. I'm just here in my dive cave at the moment, uh, getting ready to head out on a Sunday morning mission. Today we're going to be hitting up a local spot that I first started diving at maybe about 16 years ago and we're going to be targeting uh, just a 5 power. I'll let you know later on uh, why only 5. I'm only looking to get in for a quick dive. In and out, there's a shark sighting uh, about 500 meters up the road just last night, so I'm not really too keen on uh, fighting sharks today. A lot of people like to start off their dive with a karakia or a prayer. I do have my own way of internalizing gratitude and respect for the ocean and what I'm about to take from it. Uh, so basically, just before I'm about to enter the moana, I try to relax my breathing and clear my mind and I um, draw on my experiences physically and mentally to guide me out there. Anything can happen out here. You can get tangled in weeds, hit by a boat, bitten by a shark. Uh, you can even drown in two meters of water. So I guess uh, my way of saying a prayer or a karakia is to be more present in the moment, uh, raise my consciousness to a higher level and uh, respect the universe for providing. Yeah, when I dropped below the surface, I was actually uh, really surprised with the visibility. Um, that bottom three meters uh, was quite clear. Um, it was just the top that was a bit dirty, but um, yeah, once you got past that, that first um, few meters, uh, it was all good under there. So after my second dive down, I um, brought up my five power in the one brick hold. The reason I take five powers from spots like this is um, I just don't think it's good to be taking 10 or more than you need from a spot like this. Um, it's really local, so it's it's under quite a, quite a bit of pressure from all the divers. If we keep on taking uh, from spots like this, um, they won't have time to replenish and Basically one day there, there's a possibility that there could be very low numbers or uh, we could overfish this area. So I'd rather have it there as a sustainable source so that uh, my kids can come here one day and their kids can come here one day and everybody can have a fee. Now I'm not saying anybody's wrong if they take 10 powers. I don't expect everyone to take five powers. Some people don't go out diving that often. so. They might want to chuck some in their freezer for another day or maybe they've got a family a family gathering or something like that, a big family kai. Um, but I just think there's some places that we should take less and there's even some places where we shouldn't take any at all. There will be times that I do take Ten Power, just not in a high pressure area like this one. Time to move to the next mission now. Um, drop down and get me some kinners. Uh, the old man loves kinners, so I yeah, always enjoy giving him a feed or um, anyone else who's, who's been hitting me up for a feed and I yeah, always keep a few for myself. Oh well, mission complete, got the mahi done, uh, got some power for a bit of lunch and could we feed a kinnis for me and the old man, time to have a wee snack on the, on the rocks first and then head back home and process this kai moana. So I'm just going to do these power now, um, prepare them and get them ready to cook up. So you just want to get in uh, right under this, this part here, get your thumb under there and Whack it up and get that wee foot off there. You want to come in the back, drop it out of a shell, and rip it back like that, just to get the guts out. In here, uh, where the teeth are, so you want to get those as well. 
out as well. You don't want to eat those. Yeah, later on we'll clean clean these up. Oh, we've got a bit of a crab in here. So a good way to tenderize uh, power is for cooking purposes is just wrap them up in a bit of a cloth, something like that. You can use uh, whatever you want, mutton cloth. I just use an old tea towel and a tricky old hammer. Give them a good bash. Chuck them down on a nice hard surface and pretty much just bash the hell out of it. That makes it uh, nice and tender. Sweet as whano, so I'm gonna make a, a wee meal now. I'm gonna have a sweet chili power wrap. Uh, one of my favorites. So basically you just want to um, dust up the um, power with a bit of flour. Lift the pan down. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then um, chuck it on your nice hot pan. Oh, there goes the fire whistle. Hopefully that's not for me because uh, yeah, this fire is under control. Amos. <laughs> oh, well, so it's not us. The fire's all the way over there somewhere. So we'll get to cooking this, this power up. So we flip over. Oh, tender airs already. That's looking beautiful. Try it, so nice and tender now. Looks nice and ready to me. Cut this power up now. That tender ass. Chuck that on there. Chuck some chili sauce on there as well. Look at that Fano. Mickey. That is just mini. Sweet ass Fano. Oh well, well, the weather's packing it in now, so um. Time to call it a day. I hope you enjoyed that video and maybe even learned something. Give us a thumbs up and um, yeah, we'll catch you on the next adventure of Kai Down Under.